So something I really like about woodworking is the ability to apply really simple principles in order to get really great results. I was creating a, a cross cutting sled and the whole intent of that sled is to get more precise cuts than my miter saw saw would give me uh, in terms of just making straight 90, 90 degree cuts. Um, the way you make the sled is you start off with uh, just a flat sheet. Um, you bring up the table saw blade up through the sled itself uh, and make a, a bit of a cut and that's your reference line. And the goal is to set up a back fence that is as perpendicular as possible to that table saw blade. And the way that you do that is you get a little um, square uh, board like this and you make several cuts past the, the table saw blade using the back fence as a reference. And what you do is you make one cut, then you rotate it uh, using the cut side that you just use as reference um, and make another cut, rotate it again, make another cut, and you do this five times. And what will happen is any error that you have uh, off of 90 degrees will be compounded five times. So if you're off by a tenth of a degree, by the time you make five cuts, you'll be off by half of a degree. And you'll be able to use one of these squares, a known 90 degree reference, um, to be able to see that error compounded uh, after five times by measuring your last cut side with the um, second cut side. And in whatever direction you're off, you can then adjust the back fence in the correct direction to reduce the amount of error that is, and then repeat the whole process again. Make five cuts, um, compare the, the two sides that um, were cut first and last, and see how far you were off. And if you're still off by a little bit, then uh, adjust the back fence again. And what you end up uh, getting uh, when you do this is I'm just setting this up right here. There we go. So I've got the top of this 90 degree reference surface. Um, it's flush on the edge up here. Um, there's a hairline showing right here. So this tells me that this is not perfectly square, but that's okay because the, the amount of error that we're seeing here is compounded five times. So let's just for the sake of argument round up and call this off by a 16th of an inch. Well, if this is off by a 16th of an inch on a you know, seven inch by seven inch square, um, it's not actually off a 16th of an inch for every seven inch cut I make. It's off a 16th of an inch for every seven times five. So 35 inches of cut that I make. So over seven inches, I have a fifth of that error. So whatever a fifth of a 16th is, 32, 64, 80. So over the course of seven inches, I am off 90 degrees by about an 80th of an inch. And given that the cuts that I'm making are smaller than seven inches, I'm off by even less than that. And that is a tremendous improvement over the miter saw that I was using earlier. Um, so I just, as I was saying at the very beginning, it's just really cool when you can just apply a simple principle. Sometimes it's simple geometry, sometimes it's, it's simple math. In this case, it was, you know, amplify your errors and correct the amplified error so that the error down to the scale that you needed at uh, is unnoticeable or minuscule or just, it, it won't even matter in contrast to um, the other or, organic abnormalities with, with wood. Um, so again, uh, really cool when, when you get a chance to do this. Um, so it was actually pretty fun uh, to make this jig.